What's going on guys, I'm done with tech and we're back with another video. So Apple's released iOS 17.3 um, and I've been using it for the past few days now and you know, I have my thoughts about it. Uh, if you haven't updated, hopefully this video gives you those answers you may need to either upgrade or not. So let's get right into it. There's a lot of changes, but we're gonna go over the main couple that I think is the reason most people have updated and seem to like it. So first things first, open up the phone. We're gonna make sure that we are in iOS 17.3. So we're gonna head over to the settings. We're gonna to go to general. We're gonna to go to about to check what iOS version we're on. As you can see, ours is 17.3. If not, yours will be in the software update form right here. And after we do that, we're on the 17.3, we are gonna stay in the settings. So our first, first real feature is right here in the settings. It's actually in our face ID and passcode. We're gonna to go to there. You actually have to enter your passcode. And then you get to this screen here. So as you can see, you know, it'll have your iPhone unlock. All this stuff has been here. Uh, face ID with a mask from back uh, in those COVID times. And then as you scroll down, you'll see a new feature here, stolen device protection. Now, it's default on, but you can simply turn it off by pressing the button here. It'll base ID or passcode for uh, the verification, and then you're all set. So if you're a frequent traveler, if you're going different places a lot of the times during the weeks, um, I would say keep this off. Um, if you're kind of a routine person and kind of have every day kind of planned and, and you know where you're at, um, or your device knows where you're at most of the time, you may turn it on just in case. Um, so. It's on by default, so we'll just leave it off on for now. Um, but that is the extra layer of uh, security, as you can see there, uh, that Apple has added uh, in this new update. So to sum it all up, this feature detects whether you're in an unfamiliar location um, that that device hasn't really been to often. So uh, it will mandate that you uh, put face ID or a passcode into the phone to access certain data like uh, your card, your Apple wallet, um, or just contact stuff like that. Um, that's private information. So um, it's actually a really cool feature if you do actually lose your phone um, or you're just in a you know, unfamiliar territory and people may have access to the phone um, that you don't want them seeing certain things. So lastly, if the phone does detect that you're in an unfamiliar location, um, it will actually require a security delay before you can change like your Apple ID passcode, password, stuff like that. Um, just in case it is stolen, somebody's trying to change that information real quick so that you can't access that data from another Apple device. Pretty cool. So the second feature we'll get into is actually a pretty fun one. It is going to be the Apple Music playlist and collaborative features um, through Apple Music. We're gonna go find our Apple Music uh, app here. We're gonna go to a playlist. Now I already have one pulled up. You can collaborate now with other people. So up at the top right, you'll see this now, collaboration. You can approve collaborators or when turned off, they have to have a link to join. Uh, when turned on, anybody you approve can join the playlist. Um, they'll see the, the open playlist. So um, you can do it by invite link or if they're with you, they can just scan a QR code and that automatically uh, gets them in the playlist. Once they're in the playlist, they can, uh, they can essentially edit the playlist how they want um, and they can also add music um, via this button here um, either from suggestion songs or whatever they want to add so really really cool feature there i think the other big thing too um, is when you're playing music right you can actually now uh, react via emoji and whoever's in the playlist can actually see that reaction when playing that song specific song so i think that's really cool and obviously if you hit the plus button you can get to all your emojis here so I think that's a really cool feature. I think a lot of people are writing this feature off, but I do think it will be a fun, pretty pretty cool commodity going into the later years of just having that ability to collaborate with others on playlists um, and then be able to react via emojis uh, in the playlist songs uh, so that um, others can kind of see what you like or what you dislike or what's you know what's popular right now, what all that good stuff is. So in the song list. So I think it's a pretty cool commodity and, and feature for Apple Music, um, I think it'll get used probably more down the line. I think right now, people are still trying to adjust to that. And our last feature, we could have guessed it going into this year, we always get one, is the Unity wallpaper. So pretty cool wallpaper for this year. So to get to the new Unity wallpaper, we're gonna go to our settings again. We're gonna go actually to wallpaper this time. And as you can see, I've got a couple wallpapers. This is actually Unity from last year. Um, so you're gonna go over to add new, um, and then you're gonna see in the featured, uh, space that it has the unity bloom wallpaper here. I think it's actually pretty cool. You can add your widgets and as you can see 
um, you can switch between your styles and colors um, here. So um, the multicolor seems to be the more popular one right now, but they have all sorts of uh, different uh, styles. So um, you can definitely add that right here on the top right. You can set it as a wallpaper repair or customize the home screen if you don't want it on the home screen. But let me know down in the comments what you think of that wallpaper and how it compares to others that we've gotten in the past. Whether you like it more or less so that about does it for 17.3 guys if you have any other questions about it uh, put them down in the comments down below if you are still uh, trying to answer whether you should upgrade i ah, just do it at this point you've stayed in the entire video you've gotten a couple things that um, you might actually be using so go ahead and update to ios 17.3 um, again guys thanks for staying and thanks for watching if you haven't already hit that subscribe button uh, if you've made it all the way to the end make sure you show some love to that like button as well um, otherwise, we'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace.